Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, um, author of nine books and um, eight of them on natural health. Just so you know, there's my latest, chlorella and spirulina, kings of all superfoods. If you want the most powerful foods in the world, take it from the guy, the expert, the guy that knows the most. It's 60% protein, and yes, I wrote an entire book about two foods, and they are the most superfoods, the kings of all superfoods you're ever going to see. So, very excited about that. I was doing, and I've got, you know, all my books, I've got audio versions. Uh, so, audible.com, you can go up and look up that one, too. So, I want to talk today real quickly about Paraquat. So, I remember Paraquat from when I was in high school, and I was a runner, and I had friends and acquaintances, and they were all afraid of marijuana that was sprayed with Paraquat, and that's all everybody talked about. It was coming from Mexico, and you don't want to take this stuff, and it's real bad for you, and all this kind of stuff. Well, you know, I didn't have to worry about it, because I was a runner, and I was kind of one of those nerds that really didn't uh, party down with the rest of everybody. I was interested in becoming a state champion in track and cross country, which I got to the state meet, but I didn't, uh, didn't qualify. I mean, I didn't win. But anyway, so... Paraquat, what is that? Well, it's like it's, it's a it's a herbicide, and um, this thing I always knew about Paraquat. I thought they'd gotten rid of this and banned it in the U.S., but they haven't. I think they banned it in you in the EU, um, in Europe over there, but um, and they definitely have banned um, uh, Roundup. But Paraquat is 28 times more powerful, really more poisonous than um, glyphosate, or commonly known as um, Roundup. Um, so, Paraquat, very, very dangerous stuff, and um, it's everywhere, just like Roundup. It's everywhere. It's gotten into everything and all our foods. And this is what, uh, this is a, kind of an aside, I'll talk about it some other time, but uh, Roundup is what's causing all the celiac disease. Um, and it just causes tremendous uh, uh, indigestion in the body, and it also uh, is true what's, the way they're, they have. They're growing uh, these grains, in particular the white grains, such as, um, you know, wheat and barley and rye. Gluten. So it's the gluten in um, those three grains uh, that really causes the problem. And gluten, of course, is uh, you know it's like glue. You know that's where they get the name from. So you avoid those, um, and you won't have celiacs. But anyway, that comes from the Roundup. And this, um, I don't, I don't want to call it genetically modified foods. Wheat is not GMO, but the way they hybridized it and the way they have grown it in in such uh, ways, like they don't have these problems, like celiac disease over in Europe. So that's just an aside. But I'll talk about that some other time. But um, you look at this paraquat issue with um, it's out in California in particular. There's all sorts of lawsuits against it. Uh, against Paraquat and the manufacturers and you know they're poisoning everything they're poisoning the planet with this good stuff and Roundup's not any better but this is 28 times worse well it's causing Parkinson's disease and um, I have had some tremendous uh, uh, you know benefits and results by using an herb my favorite herb in the world called Makuna Makuna purians and um, I am about the only one that really promotes this um, as other people sell it, of course, but I really promote it. I think it's the best herb in the world because it has L-DOPA, um, and L-DOPA is a precursor to dopamine in the brain. And once you get that, you know, your, your brain will begin to produce other brain chemicals, serotonin, melatonin. But mainly, um, after a couple hours of taking it, you'll produce HGH, human growth hormone. So this is one of the keys uh, to longevity is uh, HGH. It's the, one of the reasons I can still run a six-minute mile is because I take Makuna. Um, also, my diet is, you know, mostly raw fruits and vegetables. Um, and uh, I use spirulina and chlorella, um, like I was trying to tell you before. There's my book. Uh, those are the two greatest superfoods on, on earth. And so I feel fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm 66, so I, I, I shouldn't be running six-minute miles at my age. Uh, and I'm not going out and training, but I work, when I do train, I, I work out. I work out very, very hard for about 25, 30 minutes, and then that's it. But going back to the Parkinson's, um, you know, this is what uh, the L-dopa. Now, this is what they give to Parkinson's patients, um, and they give them a L-dopa, and uh, you know, they give them a synthetic form or a highly refined form, and it's just not the way you want to take an L-dopa. Um, but I've given it to some people who have reported unbelievable results uh, regarding Parkinson's, uh, which is a neurological disease. So all your neurological diseases, such as seizures, 
as an example, or Parkinson's. Makuna, Makuna Perians, is really good for that. I've got the best Makuna I've ever had. I've been taking it for probably 15 years now, Makuna. And I take it right before I go to bed because you produce HGH one hour after hard physical exercise, and that's one of the reasons I mentioned that. Uh, you know, we're really lifting weights or running. About one hour afterwards, you produce growth hormone, and then about two hours after REM sleep. So I take it right before I go to bed, and um, you know, I just um, you know that's when your body's going to make the uh, the the HGH growth hormone, and you want the, it's going to help it a lot when you have that. L-DOPA that really helps produce that. But that's the, I don't want to call it the solution, you know, is it the cure? But I, I do know some people that have taken, uh, had amazing results by taking Makuna for Parkinson's. So uh, we're not going to get where, rid of the paraquats of the world very anytime soon because these corporations are just too powerful. Um, but, uh, and again, 28 times worse than Roundup, more poisonous. It's really bad stuff. It's causing Parkinson's like crazy, and that's what's going on in California. I'll leave the link to that. It's L.A. Times below. But um, you want to look into that, and if you want more information, I am the Makuna King. I've done more with Makuna than anybody else, and uh, I take it right before I go to bed. It's not bad tasting. Uh, you can take capsules. I sell capsules, but um, it's really something. Uh, it's one of the best out there, and I think it's the best herb in the world because of the production of HGH. There's other great herbs, ashwagandha, bacopa. Uh, I take a, a bunch of herbs. People, I, people call me the supplement king. I kind of am. I do a, supplement, a lot of supplements, different types of supplements. Uh, I've done videos on that in the past on why I do that. Uh, they're just really good ways to take your, your health up to another level. So uh, you can't supplement your way to health. Uh, you have to change your diet, but they certainly can help. So Makunapurians for per Parkinson's and other neurological diseases of all kinds. Uh, Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time.